Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. Proverbs 6 verses 6 to 8 Go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander, no overseer or ruler, yet it stores its provisions in summer and gathers its food at harvest. Proverbs 22 verse 29 Do you see someone skilled in their work? They will serve before kings. They will not serve before officials of low rank. Colossians 3 verse 23 Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for human masters. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 10 For even when we were with you, we gave you this rule, the one who is unwilling to work shall not eat. Ecclesiastes 9 verse 10 Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might, for in the realm of the dead, where you are going, there is neither working nor planning nor knowledge nor wisdom. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 14 Do everything in love. Proverbs 14 verse 23 All hard work brings a profit. But mere talk leads only to poverty. James 1 verse 22 Do not merely listen to the word, and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Galatians 6 verses 4 to 5 Each one should test their own actions. Then they can take pride in themselves alone, without comparing themselves to someone else. For each one should carry their own load. Proverbs 12 verse 24 Diligent hands will rule, but laziness ends in forced labor. Romans 12 verse 11 Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor, serving the Lord. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. Matthew 5 verse 16 In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Ephesians 2 verse 10 For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. 1 Peter 4 verse 10 Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others, as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. Proverbs 24 verse 27 Put your outdoor work in order and get your fields ready. After that, build your house. Philippians 2 verse 3 Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility value others above yourselves. Proverbs 10 verse 4 Lazy hands make for poverty, but diligent hands bring wealth. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 58 Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. 
Proverbs 16 verse 3. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. Ephesians 4 verse 28. Anyone who has been stealing must steal no longer but must work, doing something useful with their own hands, that they may have something to share with those in need. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 11. Make it your ambition to lead a quiet life. You should mind your own business and work with your hands, just as we told you. Proverbs 21 verse 5. The plans of the diligent lead to profit as surely as haste leads to poverty. Romans 13 verse 11. And do this, understanding the present time. The hour has already come for you to wake up from your slumber because our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. Psalm 37 verse 4 Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Proverbs 19 verse 21 Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. 2 Chronicles 31 verse 21 In everything that he undertook in the service of God's temple and in obedience to the law and the commands, he sought his God and worked wholeheartedly. And so he prospered. Luke 12 verse 48 From everyone who has been given much, much will be demanded. And from the one who has been entrusted with much, much more will be asked. Nehemiah 4 verse 6 So we rebuilt the wall till all of it reached half its height, for the people worked with all their heart. 2 Chronicles 15 verse 7 But as for you, be strong and do not give up, for your work will be rewarded. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31 So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Ecclesiastes 9 verse 7 Go, eat your food with gladness, and drink your wine with a joyful heart, for God has already approved what you do. 1 Corinthians 9 verse 24 do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Hebrews 6 verse 10 God is not unjust. He will not forget your work and the love you have shown him as you have helped his people and continue to help them. Romans 8 verse 28 and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Proverbs 13 verse 4 A sluggard's appetite is never filled, but the desires of the diligent are fully satisfied. Psalm 90 verse 17 May the favor of the Lord our God rest on us, Establish the work of our hands for us, yes. Establish the work of our hands. Matthew 11 verse 28 Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. James 2 verse 17 In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 For the Spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. Psalm 90 verse 12 Teach us to number our days, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Galatians 6 verse 9 Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 57 But thanks be to God. 
He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Proverbs 21 verse 25 The craving of a sluggard will be the death of him because his hands refuse to work. Psalm 90 verse 1 Lord, you have been our dwelling place throughout all generations. 1 Corinthians 6 verses 19 to 20 Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own, you were bought at a price. Therefore honor God with your bodies. Proverbs 13 verse 11 Dishonest money dwindles away, but whoever gathers money little by little makes it grow. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Proverbs 21 verse 31 The horse is made ready for the day of battle, but victory rests with the Lord. Galatians 5 verses 22 to 23 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Proverbs 20 verse 13 Do not love sleep or you will grow poor. Stay awake and you will have food to spare. Philippians 4 verse 6 Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. James 4 verse 17 If anyone then knows the good they ought to do and doesn't do it, it is sin for them. Proverbs 12 verse 11 Those who work their land will have abundant food, but those who chase fantasies have no sense. 1 Timothy 4 verse 12 Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. Proverbs 31 verse 17 She sets about her work vigorously. Her arms are strong for her tasks. Isaiah 40 verse 31 But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Psalm 118 verse 24 the Lord has done it this very day. Let us rejoice today and be glad. Proverbs 11 verse 27 Those who seek good find goodwill, but evil comes to one who searches for it. Romans 12 verse 6 We have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. Proverbs 19 verse 15 Laziness brings on deep sleep, and the shiftless go hungry. Philippians 2 verses 3 to 4 Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. Colossians 3 verses 23 to 24 Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 9 for we are co-workers in God's service. You are God's field, God's building. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 13 And as for you, brothers and sisters, never tire of doing what is good. Galatians 5 verse 13 
You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free. But do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly in love. 